to the video training that I am having over here. So let's try to understand what exactly do we mean by information first. So as we all know that information is nothing but an asset which like any other important business asset has some value to any organization and this information needs to be protected by all means. So you can say that information is nothing but data or any other knowledge which has some value to any organization. So we need to make sure that all the information which is there in the organization is, is of critical and utmost importance and uh, we, are, we are trying to give that particular privilege to the information which we have so that it's protected. So information is, is, an, is a very valuable asset and the entire theory of ISMS or ISO 27001 is basically based on information protection. When we talk about CIA, we'll be talking about confidentiality, integrity and availability of information and uh, you will see that uh, it basically revolves around this uh, same information security and the, the most key part, the key aspect of this is information. So we need to understand once again what exactly do we mean by information. Information is nothing but asset which is of critical importance to any organization. So all the information, all the processes, all the uh, you know different uh, uh, items which you have which are of key importance uh, could be information processing facilities could be information as assets so all these things are uh, of particular value to your organization so that's why information is always considered as an asset and again the entire idea of ISMS and ISO 27001 revolves around the key aspect of information only so it's very critical that we understand what exactly do we mean by information that is a key so after understanding information, let us try to understand what exactly do we mean by ISMS. What is ISMS? So ISMS is nothing but it is basically an information security management system which is nothing but a set of policies and procedures which are systematically designed to manage any organization's sensitive data. So what it means is basically that ISMS is a comprehensive system of processes, documents, technology and people that helps to manage, monitor, audit and improve your organization's information security and your organization's current security posture. So what, I, what I'm meaning by this line is ISMS is basically a single solution to all your security needs. That means ISMS will try to help you in managing all your security practices in one place consistently and cost effectively. So in a nutshell you can say that ISMS is nothing but a systematic approach to managing sensitive company information so that it remains secure and ISMS basically protects your people, your processes and your IT systems by applying a risk management process. So ISMS can also be called as a framework of policies and processes that includes all kinds of legal, physical and procedures that includes uh, you know an organization's information risk management processes. So the overall goal, the purpose of an ISMS is to minimize risk and ensure business continuity is maintained by proactively limiting the impact of a security breach. Uh, so basically ISMS can help small, medium and large organizations and businesses in any sector in keeping their information assets secure. And the ISMS also preserves the, as I said, the confidentiality, integrity and availability of information by applying a risk management process and basically it gives confidence to the interested parties that the security risks are adequately managed which means that all the consumers all the stakeholders which are external to your organization they will have confidence that their that their assets that their you know vested interests are adequately managed if you are ISMS compliant so it is basically very important that the ISMS is part of and integrated with an organization's processes and overall management structure and that information security is considered in the design of processes. Whenever you are trying to design any new process, you consider the aspect of information security as a critical part of that particular process. And, uh, and along with the process, it, it should be included in all the information systems and controls that you will be implementing within your organization. So it is expected that an ISMS implementation will be scaled in accordance with the needs of the organization. So you can basically scale it up or scale it down depending upon the needs of your organization as, as you require it. And uh, an ISO 27001 compliant ISMS basically relies on regular and periodic risk assessments so that you are able to identify and treat the security threats according to your organization's risk appetite and tolerance, which means that 
it's not it's not uh, you know obvious that you have to apply all the controls which we will talk about in the upcoming video training sessions um, to your to your you know risks which you have you can actually mo modify and you can actually adjust all the controls depending upon your uh, risk appetite and depending upon your organization's condition it is not again mandatory to apply all the controls you basically have to filter out all the ones which are applicable to you which is uh, basically putting out a statement of applicability document which is another thing that will be covering up in the upcoming video training sessions that i'll be giving out so i so i see 27000 series is a family of standards basically is also called ISO 27K for short which you must have heard of so it basically is nothing but it comprises of different information security standards which are published jointly by the international organization for standardization called ISO and the international electrotechnical commission called IEC so these are the basic two different uh, groups which are the, the two, two different organizations which basically design these standards out so after ISMS, let's try to understand what is ISO 27001. What exactly do we understand by ISO 27001? So ISO 27001 is nothing but uh, it, it tries to provide the requirements for establishing, implementing, maintaining and continually improving the ISMS. So basically ISO 27001 and ISO, ISMS are aligned. I mean ISO 27001 is setting up the ISMS okay so the establishment and implementation of an organization ISMS is influenced by the following factors as you must be thinking so first thing is very critical which is called the organization's needs and objectives so the ISMS that you will be designing uh, in, in, the, in your implementation of ISO 27001 will be influenced by the organization's needs and objectives that is the first criteria the second criteria that it should fulfill is uh, the security requirements that you are considering in your organization. The third important aspect is the organization's current processes which are in use. And the fourth aspect is the size and structure of your organization. The current size and structure, it will play a very vital role while designing the SMS within your organization. And all of these influencing factors are expected to change over time. So don't assume that once you have implemented the ISMS, it will not change at all in the future. It, it might change. So these are variable factors which might change over time. Okay. So this international standard can be used by internal and external parties to assess the organization's ability to meet the organization's own information security requirements. So whether my organization or your organization, whether the particular organization which is in, uh, you know, uh, consideration over here whether it's uh, meeting the current uh, security requirements with which it should it's, it's kind of a review which happens in this particular implementation of ISO 27001 so this international standard basically specifies the requirements for is establishing maintaining implementing and continually improving an SMS so it basically includes the requirements for assessment and treatment of security risks so security risks are nothing but all the current risks which might be you know hindering the current processes which you have or hindering the performance of certain uh, assets within your organization so it basically it sets out the requirements which are generic and are intended to be applicable to all the organizations regardless of the type size or nature so ISO 27001 can be applied to any of the organization just keep this in mind and uh, an ISO 27001 information security management system is a systematic and proactive approach to effectively managing risks to the security of your company's confidential data so what it means is is it's kind of developing a systematic approach and proactive by proactive it means is you have to define all these controls in advance you don't you don't have to wait for the security incident to happen to trigger and you you can't wait for it to happen you have to you have to uh, you know make sure that these controls are implemented in advance so it's kind of a systematic and proactive approach to effectively manage this again for this we are talking about the security risks which are currently applicable to your organization so ISO 27001 is basically information security management system uh, and it helps in highlighting the vulnerabilities to ensure that your organization is adequately protected against all the potential threats and risks again so risk management is a key aspect over here as you have as you must have seen that i have repeated this word uh, several times in the in the 
past five to ten minutes so that means risk management is a key focus of ISMS and ISO 27001 so make sure that you understand this term properly risk management is nothing but making sure that all the current risks which are you know posing as threats to your organization are managed properly that is the ultimate goal of ISO 27001 and ISMS okay so ISO 27001 in, in the passes of people, processes and IT systems and it can be achieved by as I said any business in any given sector and it basically looks and in, enhances the company's security of its assets and data. So ISO 27001 is the international standard which is recognized globally for managing risk to the security of information that you hold within your organization. So the current version of ISO 27001 which we have is ISO 27001 2013 and it basically provides a set of standardized requirements for an information security management system which means how you should design your information security management system how the ISMS should be designed within your organization so all the basic requirements of uh, what an ISMS should include and contain are defined by ISO 27001 so this standard basically adopts a process approach for establishing implementing operating monitoring reviewing and improving your current ISMS which is in place for your organization so you can basically establish the ISMS, you can implement it, you can operate it, you can monitor it, you can review it and it's basically the plan, do, check, act, uh, DEMIX model which is being followed in ISO 27001 that is the key aspect over here which we are discussing about right now. So if we talk about achieving a accredited certification to ISO 27001 it basically demonstrates that your company is following information security best practices and uh, that your organization is delivering an independent expert assessment uh, whether your data is adequately protected or not so that is what we understand by be being compliant with ISO 27001 certification so ISO 27001 implementation if I if I'll talk about it can be implemented in any kind of organization profit or profit or non-profit as I said so it was written by world's best experts in the field of information security and provides method methodology for the implementation of information security management system in, in any organization so ISO 27001 basically looks intently at the totality of an organization's information assets and then steps through a process which gauges risks as I said to these assets. So basically all the participants which are involved in the process of implementing ISMS, they should look at the likelihood of an attack or a failure and the impact that such an attack or a failure would have on the organization and the effectiveness of the current controls which are they are in place in order to protect those assets is, is kind of a key formula for implementing the ISMS risk uh, assessment uh, part okay the process involves uh, calculating which risks need to be addressed first depending upon the priority of the risks again and which are the insig insignificant and which uh, risks which are there and which management is willing to accept because it, it might not be a case that the management is ready to tackle all the risks which are there there could be some risks which the management is ready to accept often because of the cost associated with mitigating those risks uh, is not so easy so that's why sometimes it happens that management is able to you know uh, say that we we do understand the risks and we are ready to accept it so Going back again to ISO 27001, it basically uses a top-down risk-based approach as we have discussed and is technology neutral which means it can be applied to any technology within your organization and the processes which you are using. So the specification basically outlines and defines a six-part planning process for implementing the ISMS. First of all, you have to define a security policy. The second thing, the most important thing is to define a scope of the ISMS which you will be implementing. And the third important thing is to conduct a risk assessment as we discussed about. The fourth important thing is to manage identify risks which are there. The fifth important thing is to select the relevant control objectives and all the controls that you think should be implemented over there. And the, 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 other, the sixth important thing is to prepare a statement of applicability as I said SOA document. It basically highlights all the controls that you will be implementing within your organization while implementing the SMS. So the specification, the specification of ISO 27001 basically includes all the details for documentation, management responsibility, internal audits, continual improvement and corrective and preventive actions for you to implement ISMS. So the ISO 27001 standard provides a checklist of controls that should be considered in the accompanying code of practices which is mentioned in the Annex A, Annex A of ISO 27001. So, 
now if if we go back to uh, you know understanding what are the what are the uh, you know different benefits of uh, you know implementing ISMS or ISO 27001 like why exactly we should go ahead and implement these standards so what's in it for us or what's in it for the organization so we basically have to understand the importance of these standards why do we have to implement it and what are the different things that we can benefit out as an organization as well as as customers if we will try to you know uh, implement the ISMS or ISO 27001 so uh, let's say that certification to ISO 27001 which will actually allow you to prove to your clients and other stakeholders as I mentioned that you are managing the security of information in your possession in a in a in a cru crucial way in a in a perspective manner which is actually applicable and this standard will help your company coordinate all your security efforts both electronically and physically and cost effectively with consistency and it will prove to your potential customers that you take your security and their personal or business information very seriously in your organization so other benefits to the organizations may include the cost reductions due to avoiding incidents as i said by proactively implementing controls you may you may avoid all the security incidents which are you know bound to happen in the future in your organization and you you can have improved business image in the marketplace like it, it basically serves as a competitive advantage while you are in the market and if you are ISO 27001 compliant you are way ahead of, uh, above your competitors if you are ISMS uh, compliant ISO 27001 compliant and uh, it will actually have its own worth so improved business image in the marketplace customers have peace of mind that the company is trustworthy and implementing the security controls defined as good practices in ISO 27001 allows to better detecting weaknesses or, or vulnerabilities which are currently existing within your organization and fixing them. The business benefits from ISO 27001 certification are considerable and not only do these standards help ensure that your security risks are cost effectively managed but your adherence to the standards transmits an important message to your customers as I said and ISO 27001 plays a very important role in monitoring, reviewing, maintenance and improvement of your information security management system and will likely give other organizations and customers greater confidence in all the way they interact with you. So, ISO 27001 information security and data protection brings supreme importance to data for organizations globally and businesses who are safeguarding both their client and company data against uh, potential threats. Okay. So by int integrating a robust ISMS for your organization, you can ensure that the quality, safety, service and product reliability of your organization has been safeguarded to the highest level. And if I'll try to summarize the ISO 27001 uh, you know, framework best practices that will help the organization. So it will basically help the organization in, in the following ways. It will protect your clients and employee information. It will help you to manage your risks uh, more effectively you will be able to achieve compliance with the standard and it will actually give you a brand image for your organization the security risks are appropriately prioritized and cost effectively managed which basically demonstrates commitment to information security uh, to third parties and stakeholders as i said the, the, these are all the benefits that are there for your organization but what about your staff what, are, what about your employees which are there so how should they become more confident by implementing this standard what are the different things that they will you know uh, feel that okay this is something that we have gained by having this organization uh, this organizational standard being implemented in our particular office so having appropriate access controls in place will actually lower the risk of accidental exposure to employees in case of any confidential or sensitive information loss so that that is the first thing which will actually help your employees and it will basically give a reassurance in the fact that their employer, the, the company is actually meeting the data handling security guidelines in a proper way. So they will have that trust and it will actually help in clearly and precisely defining and segregating the roles and responsibilities so that they can actually perform their job more effectively and they do not have to worry about the security part as, as they will be having the confidence that it is being managed appropriately by the organization. So. This was basically it about, you know, in this particular training video for ISMS and ISO 27001. 
there are a lot of different topics that i would like to cover in the upcoming sessions and training videos that i'll be putting up after this one so there there will be different things that we will discuss on like iso 27001 certification related terms and definitions different items are there so we will speak about how to basically understand what what each item means and what is the importance of each item in which role and so a particular item could have different meanings and different uh, aspects while using them so we, we basically have to understand where exactly are we using these items and we have to understand what are the different types of certifications iso 27001 certifications which are there for individual as well as for the organizations there are different certifications for individuals like lead implementer certification and lead auditor certifications and for organizations it is only iso 27001 certifications for all the organizations that they are actually uh, you know being checked against compliance for iso 27001 standard only so apart from that there are two types of audits which happen in, inside an organization for iso 27001 it could be an internal audit or it could be an external audit as well which which could happen in your organization for iso 27001 and what are the different external audit stages the normal structure of an audit report what do we need to know about different risks and controls that iso 27001 speaks about what are the different risks and controls that iso 27001 talks about so these all these things we'll be discussing about in the upcoming training videos that i'll be posting here so that's it for this particular training video and i request you to please subscribe to my channel so that if you are really interested to study iso 27001 and if you understand its implementation and if you want to really understand the importance of uh, iso 27001 and isms and uh, if you want to understand how exactly we can implement it to make sure that you subscribe to my channel and as i said information security management system is a very vast topic it's is nothing that it can be covered in a particular lecture or a particular training video so i'll be posting these videos and again i would insist you to please subscribe to this uh, you know channel to get the most out of these training videos and if you have any questions please feel free to comment below and i will be happy to respond so this is love johar thank you so much for watching my video again and uh, stay tuned i'll be putting a lot of uh, new stuff for isms and iso 27001 thank you so much for watching this video thank you bye bye